A very good morning to you. Thanks so much for being part of Y254. This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. As always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. Remember, a repeat of this show also comes again tonight at 10 p.m. Now, today we want to talk about handling breakups. What do you need to do after a breakup? What do you need to do to, you know, move on? How do you heal? How can you ensure that you are set and ready for the next relationship? How how do you not how do you avoid uh, carrying baggages or hurtings from the previous relationship into your next relationship handling breakup and today we want to talk about this particular conversation i am with johnson chuma he is an author a life coach and a motivational speaker and also an artist karibu sana johnson thank you sir you're well i'm well yeah, thank you so much uh, tell us a bit more, uh, more about what you do oh yeah johnson chuma is my name i'm an author I've written 11 books. Mm -hmm. I do motivational speaking. I'm a life coach. Um, I'm a gospel artist. Mm -hmm. I'm also a farmer, a very serious farmer. <laughs> you do farming? <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what, what do you plant? I am, um, you know, uh, is it, is it Kenchi or chicken? They used to have a, a maxim. Uh, they were cook, chick, cook about chicken. I am meat about trees. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I have a very big tree nursery. Okay. Yeah, okay. I propagate seedlings. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 so you you sell also? The same I thing? do, yeah. I sell, yeah. Wow. And they buy. Is it a good business? It is, it is. There is money in tree propagation. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's nice. And it's interesting. Farming, singing, motivational speaking. Life coaching. Jack of all trades. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But thank you for coming. I, I, here, thank you. I can do all things. Mm. Yeah. How can people find you on social media? Uh, on Facebook, Johnston Chuma. Chuma with K K Y U M W A. Uh, Instagram, it is Johnston Chuma. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter, Mutunga Official. All right, and thank yeah. you so much for, 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 for coming, my brother. I appreciate it. Looking forward to having a conversation with you. Absolutely. Uh, today we want to go talk about handling, uh, uh, you know, uh, healing after a breakup. What do you need to do? Remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live on our website www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254 is where you can be able to find us engage with us the hashtag is power talk show at ram aguko and at y254 channel is where you can be able to engage with us let us know how do you heal after a breakup what do you need to do are you married <coughs> what did you do to heal from your previous uh, uh, marriage after divorce what do you do let's engage this is power talk and power talk starts now now let me start with, uh, before we get into the, into the nitty gritties, have you, you've, I believe uh, you said you're married. I'm married and, uh, ha, to, ha, to one wife, Ram. <laughs> one. <laughs> married to one wife. Yes. We, that should be clear. Yeah. Um, you've been dating before. Sure. Before you got married to, to, to your current wife. I believe so. You, um, I don't know, uh, how, how, how was it for you, you know, getting into uh, uh, this marriage with your wife? Mm -hmm. And uh, how is it uh, uh, leaving behind everyone mm -hmm. and everything that happened in the past? And mm -hmm. now you want to live happily ever after, as it may, <laughs> with your current wife? Yeah. How do you do it? Um, it's about commitment. It's about choices. Mm -hmm. uh, they say choices make men and yeah. women. You are defined by the choices you are making daily. Mm -hmm. And the moment you, you choose to go into marriage, it's a very serious commitment. You see, Ram, uh, life is not a game. Mm -hmm. It is a serious thing. Don't play games with your life. Mm -hmm. So once you decide I'm going into marriage, then you know there are things you need to do. You need to do it right. Mm -hmm. You must understand what you're going into. You must be very clear. You must have a vision. You must be goal-oriented. You must know how fa family works. Mm -hmm. And you must, you know, know how to operate as a man, as a wife, as a husband. You must know all that. And how to avoid uh, dragging mm. uh, the things of singlehood into into a new status of being married mm. yeah you know yeah we were talking about the, those who are dating those who are married mm. and uh possibly those who are divorced 
Now, yeah. now if, if before we go further, um, you know, for many they believe that you must kiss many frogs till you get me. Oh, Prince. did you say frogs? <laughs> uh, yeah. You will. You, you've heard. That. I have heard of that phrase. That, that you must kiss many. Frogs you must kiss frogs until you get the right one. Uh, uh huh. But through that process of kissing many frogs, mm -hmm. you're getting hurt. You're getting hurt, yeah. Yeah. Stop the kissing. You should only kiss one and marry that one only. But <laughs> You see, Ram, if you're kissing so many frogs, it means you are at the swamp. Frogs are found at the swamp. So leave the swamp alone mm. and, uh, and you will be, you'll meet the right person. The reason why many people kiss so many frogs is because they are trying out things. Don't try things. Mean business. Uh, settle for one and that one only. Uh, if it is working well with you. So this idea of trying this one doesn't work. You pick another one. You know, you know uh, ladies are not vehicles to be test driven. You test drive this, it, it malfunctions, you drop it. Powerful word. Ladies are not vehicles to be test driven. Yeah, don't test drive people. Don't, <laughs> don't go breaking hearts, you know, hurting people left, right. I mean... Be, be, you know, be kind. How, how did you do it? Um, you, you, you are advising us. Yes. Uh, as youths. Yes. All the Kenyans watching, it, uh, watching today. Yeah. That don't kiss many frogs. Yes. Kiss one. Kiss one. And go with it. Take that one home. Is that what you did? I did that. You never dated anyone. I'm telling you, I, 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 I married my ZP and that one. I just, that is the one I kissed and I took home. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that one. You know, I am a serious man and I mean business and I, I hate the idea of, you know, hurting people. Huh. I hate people hurting people. I hate to see people hurting. And, you know, the dating arena is, is awash with uh, hurting people. Mm -hmm. People are hurting and they continue to hurt until they discover how to do things right. I did once and that was it. Is, is it possible? Perhaps? It is. It is. It is. You only date once? And the person you date is the one you marry. Yes, it is possible. You know, love the Bible. Love does not get weary. It doesn't grow weary. You 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 keep finding the the the, the empires of love. You keep finding them. You keep cultivating until uh, you should be introducing something new in your in in in, in your love relationship every single day. Wow. Hata kama ulikuwa na lala pande hii, kesho lala, kitanda pindua isonge pande hii. Do something to, to, to make it enjoyable. Don't be boring. Can't get weary. Is it possible to be boring it in is. a relationship? It is. It is. It is. Ram, I always say this. Mm. Relationship don't work because of love. What makes relationships work? Knowledge. Of what? Your car can, can, can bore you the way you, you, you drive. But you need to know how to make your car serve you better. I don't know. Ile 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 marashia gari. And you you uh, in marriage, uh, there are things uh, people do, and it gets real boring. Real boring, and people get bored with bored with each other. People start uh, uh, emotionally disengaging. You know, you know when when people um, you know break up. Yeah. And uh, they are trying to, to move on. Yeah. You'd hear them say, you know, um, it started off well. Yes. And up at some point, it, 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 never, it did not work out. Yeah. So I'm afraid that I might start another relationship and it might not even work out also the way the previous one did not. Because when it starts, it's all roses. Animal. But as it continues, yeah. things change. Yes. People get lazy. People get complacent. And they forget that. You, you work on marriage. Marriage does not work until you work on it. Mm. And marriage, marriages are not made, don't fail. They are made to fail. Repeat that again. Marriages Repeat don't that. fail. Uh -huh. They are made to fail. They are made to fail. Yeah, because the people in the marriage uh. are stopped doing those things. Those sweet, sweet things they used to do when they were dating. Actually, uh, marriage should be, uh, we should replay the things used to do during dating. Mm. Because those are the things that used to move your partner. Keep the roses coming. Keep the dates coming. Keep taking out. Keep doing those things you used to do mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, me, that your partner used to like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep, keep doing those things. Cultivate. It works by knowledge.
Now, if someone breaks up from a previous relationship, yes. how can you be able to learn from that so that when you move on to the next one, you're well prepared, you're better off, you're wiser, you're stronger, you're better, yet at the same time, you're afraid of making the same, same mistakes. How do you do it? People need to grow. You need to understand why the, the, the previous one never worked and how to grow the things that made it not work. How to grow. Grow yourself. Uh, you know, men don't marry girls. They marry, uh, they marry, you know, character. Character. That's what people are looking for, men. Character, yes. We, we need to see this confident, composed, wise, settled lady. Wife material. I'm telling you, substance. <laughs> we need substance. This, this, this lady will, will, will sweep you off completely. Mm. Yeah, this lady, you, you, know, you, know, you know, men, they say men are, men are uh, once you get, they are like kids, eh? Men are like, like kids. As in, uh, once you get married, mm. they are told, you know, take care of him like a kid. Because okay. there are so many things you love to do for him. Because mm. the man is out there, uh, uh, making things work for the family is out there pro uh, working to provide for the family. So mm. there are so many things you have to do for this man. Mm. So the man needs to be taken care of. That's why in an ideal situation a woman should not be working. The, he, what, what, she what, should, what do you mean working? She what, should come and what? find the, the man is a king. Uh. She should find the man owning everything. She should have no need to work. You're saying Johnson. Yes. <laughs> I think it is right. How much will not work? She, she should not work. When God, you see, God created ma a man and formed a woman out of man. And at the time God was bringing out the garden, mm. there was everything. There was everything. There so, was so you're saying a woman, when by the time you, you are getting into marriage, you, you should find a man who is already having everything. This is where men go wrong. A woman should find a man who is working to provide for the family. She should be working. He should be working. The man should be working. What if you don't have a job? You, he must get one. There's, there's so no, if, if you don't have a job, don't get into marriage. You are joking. You are going to, you are going to make your family suffer. If, okay, you, you may not have a job, but you can, you, you can establish a business. Do mm. something. What I mean is do something to support your family. We have so many men out there who are doing nothing and they're making their families to suffer. Okay, now, let's, let's talk about anger. And uh, anger is one particular aspect that uh, normally leads to a lot of chaos mm -hmm. in relationships. Yeah. Now, somebody, somebody is angry. Yes. You, know, you, are, you could be angry at... At, at a particular gender. Mm -hmm. And some people normally say that maybe at mm -hmm. they, they would give descriptions. Yes. I'm a man, I like this. Mm -hmm. And they generalize. Because yes. you know, there's this anger that some people have mm -hmm. towards men or men, towards yeah. women mm -hmm. because of a previous relationship or, yes, or deal yes, that they had yes, in the past. Yes. Uh, how do you handle anger? So that by the time you move into marriage, yes. you, you're good. You don't, you, you don't make your husband or your wife suffer. And mostly it is, it, it is uh, I've heard this from women who are, are coming from failed relationships. They are bitter. Mm. Men are this. Men are cows. Men are rabbits. Men, men, are, are, men are this. No, it is that <laughs> particular one. Yeah. That, uh, who left, who, who you left. Mm -hmm. That particular one. So don't put us all in one basket. So it is that particular one. That, that, that particular is. one. In fact, when you are saying all, actually, you are running away from reality. Call, say that one is that thing, that thing. That one is that car. So it's okay to call the one you dated. <laughs> Don't call him that. Him that. Cow. But again, it is because of bitterness. Maybe okay. you are mistreated and you have, you have stereotyped things. Uh, marriage works. Relationship work. work. And it's about your input in them. It is what you, 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 you give in your relationship, that makes it work. If you don't give life to your relationship, it will have no life. Mm. Yeah. If you don't give it 
life. It won't, it won't it, have it, any life. It, it won't have its life. Marriage works. It does. But then how do you avoid? Still, you've not, you, you, I, I need to oh, get that in. Yes. How do you avoid bringing anger into your marriage it, it, from past experience? Don't carry pa previous baggage. Mm. You need to work on yourself. You need to seriously work on things which could uh, affect your, your future your future relationship. Mm -hmm. If you are an angry person, you need to deal with your anger. You need to deal with your, 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 your bitterness. You need to work on yourself. We have so many bitter ladies uh, uh, around. They call them, some call themselves independent ladies. There is nothing called independent ladies. Mm. It, it, it is a, it, 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 it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> what do you mean that there is nothing called as uh, uh, these the, this independent uh, ladies, these career women? Uh, it, it doesn't exist. It, it doesn't exist. It's a lie. It is a creation from the from the depths of hell. What and they mean? think that men they can do without men. Fine, if you choose that path, go that path. But God says it is good. So if God says it is good, who are you to say it doesn't? It, it is. It doesn't work. It is good. Even now, it is good. Marriage is good. If it didn't work for you, it doesn't mean it can't work for the rest of the people in this planet. It works. It works. It works. All the time. But, but, but I'm hearing, Johnson, you're saying that uh, there's nothing, uh, there, there's no such thing as an independent lady. <laughs> there's not. I, I, so you don't believe women should work? You don't believe women should be independent? They should. Women should, should okay, you, you work because you have to uh, unleash your potential. Mm. But I feel that... Uh, uh, you can run a business entity, I mean, a business enterprise. You, you can further your career. Mm. It is okay. Mm. As long as you, you and your partner are agreeing. The most important thing in family is to agree. Because the Bible says, two cannot work together unless they agree. You have to agree. There is no other place on, in relationship where people need to agree more than in, in, in marriage. You need, you, you need to be on the same page on everything, finances, career, in everything. I'm telling you. Now, there are people who have been hurt in uh, uh, a particular breakup where, let me give an example. Mm -hmm. A lady goes through a breakup and the, you know, the, the, the man tells her you know, bad things like, uh, you're not, yes. without me, yes. you wouldn't have been who you are today. Yes. I took you to school. I mm. took who you are. Yeah. Now, this lady decides to say, no, I want to be independent. Mm. I want to start working. I want to be my, my own person mm. till the right time. Mm -hmm. Now, there is this phobia that exists mm -hmm. that a woman will say that until I am financially stable, mm -hmm. I will never allow a man to buy me anything or to do anything for me. I will do everything on my own. Yeah. Now, when they get into marriage, they will want to now separate things. They'll be like, I am on my own. Mimi ni meleta hi. Wewe, leta hiyo. Because of how it was in the past. Now she wants to be independent, even in mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Does it work? We, women, women have been mistreated. Yeah. Uh, even those who are in marriage, those who are in relationships, that didn't work. Men yeah. have been mistreated by... The, there are men who want to control everything. They want to control money. They want to control everything. Mm. So you find that the woman is working, but the husband is taking all the money. So the woman is reduced to, to a beggar. That's why they want to have uh, financial power. So that they, 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 they won't be begging or asking for help from their men. They, they want money power, you see. Mm. But the moment you get an understanding man, he will give you everything. You will have access to everything. Just my item, item card, send you Go, how much do you need? Go with the draw. So a woman should not feel bad about trying or wanting to work fast and get financially stable. There's fast. nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So what is needed is for the partners, the two partners to agree on everything. People assume a lot. Don't assume. Here you are one. No secrets, nothing. It is one. Mm -hmm. At mm -hmm. you, are, you, you are doing this, I don't know. You are doing this, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know. That is bagash. Mm. Yes. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. Let's talk about the um, issue concerning money. Before um, someone gets into that particular relationship, of course, um, 
finances yeah. might have been an issue. Yeah. But apart of that, now um, you've broken up with that person who was sponsoring you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one was the one who was paying your bills, he was paying you for everything for you, yeah. and now you've broken up. Yeah. Now you don't know what to do. Yeah. Talk to that lady who is watching you today. Uh, you know, how do they pick themselves up from that? Come on. Lady, uh, they need first... You, you, can, you don't need the support of people to, to thrive. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, 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 the source of your, your livelihood has been cut. So what you need to do is that don't uh, do stupid things. Don't go looking for these things they are calling sponsors and, uh, 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 and such. Mm. Uh, people to, work hard to sponsor your lifestyle. Work hard to pay your rent. Work hard to, to, to buy yourself whatever you need. But the moment you want to get it uh, using uh, illegitimate means, uh, it comes with consequences. Choices have consequences. There's nothing for free. What you get thing for free, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, there are ladies who make mistakes, you know, uh, uh, looking for favors from men. Mm. At the end of the day, they're going to pay for those favors. Mm. They will pay. What do you mean they'll pay? You know, it, it, it starts uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as a very harmless arm, thing. Mm. You know, okay, okay. Which quote do you Take this, okay, okay. A gift here and there. A compliment here and there. You, what you, you, you are doing is you are bonding. You are bonding. Mm -hmm. there, there is an emotional bond being created. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. at some point, you start getting attracted to each other. Mm. What this man, this athlete man will do, they want to sleep with you. How many, how many lives have been destroyed because of, uh, of indiscipline? Mm -hmm. They need to, they, they, let them find work to do. Let them think of how they can run their lives independent of, uh, 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 of men if they are not married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be independent. Yeah, if you're not married, be in the, be, and you, you need to be independent. Now, now I'm, I'm, I'm trying to um, understand this particular angle here. When somebody keeps on accepting gifts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the point that you guys will break up, what do you need to do? Do you return those gifts? Oh, there are some. Because you don't need to see evidence of the former things. Mm. There are things you need to clear. Uh, that, uh, actually, that that's, uh, leads me to healing. How do you heal from a broken relationship? Yeah. There are things you need to completely clear from, 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 from your life. Mm. There are gifts you can, you, there are things you can keep, and there are things you can find a way to clear everything. Mm. Clear what is clearable. If that is English, yeah, clearing and folding. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> yes. So re re return them. Return them. Return those phones. I mean, return them. Return them. But if it's, it's, it's a chair like this, mm. it, it's okay. It, if he doesn't want it back, it's okay. If it's a chair, you can keep it. You can keep it if he doesn't want it. Aka. Donate it. Aka. Take it back. Take, take it back. <laughs> take it back. <laughs> Gary, Rudisha. Rudisha, Gary. It, because it will keep speaking. Oh, he gave me a car. In as much as we are, we, you know, we, we, we are no longer together, but he must be a good guy. Mm. And these feelings keep on visiting you and revisiting you. So there's some things you need to return. There's some things you, you can't. Yes, yes. Yes, there are things you need to return. The, the, maybe the, the, uh, he could have given you some money. Mm. He may not want it back. You used the money. Mm. It is closed. Yes. There are many marriages nowadays that are going through divorce. Mm. And it's, it's quite interesting that divorce cases have risen. Um, I, I don't know what do you, think, what do you think about that. But uh, there are many marriages that are going through that particular process. I have trouble in marriage. Huh? I have trouble in marriage. How do you move on to a new marriage after divorce? And what duration or timeline do you give yourself from one particular marriage? And you know, till divorce, now you're moving to the next marriage. How, what do you do? Ram, as a Christian, mm. uh, you know divorce is not allowed until they say because of unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to go into that. But in the event you have divorced, in the event you have divorced, uh, you know, divorce comes from two words. 
div 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 divided. Mm. Divorce. You are divided. Mm -hmm. Both of you caught two visions, parallel visions, and you went to par uh, different directions. Yeah. Just like disease. Disease. You are diseased. Uh, so once you are divorced, mm. uh, and you would, you, you, you would like to get remarried, mm. then uh, you need to thoroughly work on yourself. What do you mean, oh, working on? You, you need, you, you need like, could you have been the problem for your divorce? Soul search. Do soul searching. Ask yourself tough questions. Why was, it the prob was I the problem or was it the problem? Was she the problem? Who was the problem? What was the problem here? You, 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 you can't run away from your conscience. Mm. You know what was happening. You know what the situation was. If you are the problem, you know you are the problem. If he was the problem, if she was the problem, you know very clearly. And if you, want, you really want marriage, then get serious about understanding how marriage works and leave the former garbage. Mm. Yeah, because if you, carry it, uh, if you carry it into this other relationship, you're going to experience the same problems. Is, is, is that why some people, you know, marry and uh, uh, divorce, re and remarry, re remarry, divorce, yes. remarry, divorce, and, and, and that the cycle, cycle continues, 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 because they never outgrow their, their, their vices. They, okay. they never outgrow their bad behaviors. They, uh. they, 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 they never outgrow their bad habits. They never work on them, themselves. They... They, 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 they are still behaving the same way. They, Ram, I'm so mad about men, many men I see hmm. when I go to hotels and restaurants and even in cars, the way they talk, they're so casual. Hmm. They're so rec careless, reckless. They behave like they are not married. Even women. You see, you see I'm a whole grown man uh. and the way they are conducting themselves, you're like, is this Baba Nani? That sense of... Uh, pride you take in, fa in family. What happened? There's uh, a way you should behave or handle yourself be, uh, yes, when you're married. With that dignity mm. of, of, of a family man, of uh, somebody's wife. You know, that dignity has gone through the window in many families. Is that why people break up nowadays yes, so easily? Yes, so, easy, so easily. If someone is married and they are, they're just talking to girls, they are inboxing girls, and s someone is a wife and they are just behaving like they are a single girl. What kind of life is this? You are somebody's wife. You are somebody's wife. Behave like one. Come on. You are a husband. You are somebody's husband. <laughs> Draw the line. Stop behaving like some. We, we have so many commercial, commercial men, uh, uh, sex workers, se se who are men. Uh. Yeah. In fact, it's like they are outnumbering the women. Men. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you some, some, some statistics. You know, you, you know, we need some seriousness in the marriage arena. There are so many casualties. And money is about life, not a part business partnership. And you know, that's why I love what you said. Yeah. Marriage is not a business partnership. It is a, it's life. It's, it's, a, it's a thing of the heart. Woo. That's why it had, we, we can start a business. It goes south and no, no, no hard feelings. It, it is gone. But this one is a matter of the heart. It hurts. It is life. Now, um, because of so many divorce cases mm. that we are seeing in the country, mm. many young people are saying, you know, you know what? I don't think I'll marry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's I phobia. I, I, I don't think I'll go through it because if so-and-so can marry, Nabado yes. Achane. Yes. They're like, who am I? <laughs> who am I? Uh -huh. it, is, it is that phobia, as you earlier put it, that phobia. They, 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 are, they are watching things and... Uh, People of eyes standing in the side are, 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 are having their, their, their unions, you know, go south. Mm. And so many problems, you see, others are posted online. And young people are, are, are afraid to go into that arena because they're afraid of facing the same challenges. Yeah. Life is private. Mm. People go through different challenges. So it is not about uh, what they're going through. Mm. Are you ready to make yours work? Because it works. It is so personal. I love that. Are you ready to make yours work? Yours, yours. Not, 
and, and, and if you broke up before, mm -hmm. it does not mean you, if, you can have a bad marriage no, now or no. a bad relationship. It because it is, are you ready to make it work? Are you ready to, to, are you ready to do the work of marriage? Wow. I want to take a short break. Oh, yeah. And then we'll be back. Yes. And then you will tell me about these particular aspects of, of, of people leaving each other because of, of, of uh, in-laws. In-laws. Oh. <laughs> in-laws. A mother-in-law or a father-in-law just came in and uh, wana achana. Wana achana. Ikabidi wa achane. Now this person is afraid of remarrying again because I want to say, ah, ata nikio watena. Ah, what? Interference. Interference. Yes. Yes. Because somebody interfered with In your relationship previously. Interfered, yes. Mm. You'll tell us more about that. Should oh, in-laws yeah. interfere with marriages? Mother-in-law amekuja kupika. Amesema leo na leo na lala hapa. Ai. Ai, ai, ai. Where? That's a no goes on. <laughs> Let's take a short break. The hashtag is a power talk show at Ram Maguko at Y254 channel. At, uh, is where you can be able to engage with us. Keep letting us know where you're watching us from. Give us your take in regards to this particular conversation. Power talk takes a break. We'll be back in a bit. Y254. Imagine. It's a pleasure being with you. This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. If at all you're just joining us, uh, you're just in time for uh, the last part of this uh, particular conversation. How do you handle a breakup? Healing after a breakup. How do you move on to the next relationship after your previous one? You know, and, and, and at the end of the day, this particular conversation is under the notion that you are thinking of marriage. Is he our tattoo? No. We are not talking about jokers here. This is not kid play. <laughs> it's not child's play. Child's play, yeah. Yeah. It is not. Keep, the, keep talking to us. The hashtag is Power Talk Show at Ram Maguko and at Y254 channel. You can be able to engage with us. Let us know where you're watching us from and I shall sample your feedback a bit later on. But for now, let's uh, keep the show going. Uh, so I'm, I'm with Johnson Chuma here. Uh, uh, you know, he's uh, <laughs> an Adunga Wato Leo. <laughs> he's telling us things as they are. Mm -hmm. Challenging the men and the women out there. Oh, yes. Uh, that if you are told you are married, you are a, a, a married man, mm -hmm. don't talk around as if you are not married. Mm -hmm. yes. If you are a married woman, mm -hmm. you are somebody's wife. Yes. Behave like somebody's wife. Do that. <laughs> now I want to ask you this question. Yes, sir. How does somebody's husband or wife behave? <laughs> uh, there, there is a code of conduct. Yeah, what is this particular code of conduct you're, talk, you're, talk, you're talking about here? <laughs> Rules of engagement. Yes. In the family. Yeah. That's very important. Uh, th th there's a way, you know, you know, I've never, I've never had a goat roaring. Yeah. A goat bleats. A lion roars. An elephant trumpets. So when, when you get to family, then there are rules of conduct, how to conduct yourself out there, how you, how you should behave. You mm -hmm. should be intentional with your behavior. You should be conscious of your status as a husband, mm -hmm. as a wife. Yeah. Always be conscious. So don't behave like someone who is not uh, married. Yes. Now, for talk, example, talk, talk about this married wife. How, how should a married woman behave? Talk about a married man, this husband. How I, should a married I, man I, behave? I see a lot of garbage out there. You know, this man is married and he, he, he has eyes on other girls. And he, he, he is talking to them. It is, it is not bad to talk to them, suggestively. Sending them romantic messages. Yeah. Uh, taking them out for, 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 for dinners and, 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 and appointments. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Sending them money. How do you do that? The, the, there are women out there who, who are just going out on dates and they are married. How do you even do that? Stop it. Stop. Ha, ha, ha. Unavunja ndoa yako. Unavunja ndoa yako mwenyewe. Una, una, unaharibu kwa mikono yako mwenyewe. So that's what you're doing. Just, just, just know that I am married. There mm -hmm. are things I should stop doing. Mm -hmm. Completely. You know, we are at a festive uh, time. People are celebrating, you know. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, Christmas, the New Year. Yes. And, 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 and you know, 
there is a weekend that is coming. You know, the <laughs> interestingly, these weekends uh -huh. are interesting uh -huh. because twenty fourth, uh -huh. Friday, thirty first, also Friday. Sherehe, sherehe. Shere. Jamaa nenda kupotea nyumbani Thursday. Mm -hmm. Arudi nyumbani Monday. No and, communication. Uh, yeah. Ametoka sherehe. Sherehe gani? You know what women are saying? Mm -hmm. They're saying, ah, bora arudi nyumbani. Ah, you, you, you are a fake woman. You are fake. <laughs> you are fake. <laughs> you should make your man stay at what home. Do you, mean? you should make your man. You, you, should, be, you should also uh, be so admirable to your man. Uh. Yeah. You should make your men stay home. So if your man wants to leave you, it is you who is the problem. You are causing him to leave you by, 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 your, by your behavior. What about if it is a woman who wants to leave? The man should also search himself. So if, okay. You should keep each other. If the woman wants to leave, it is a problem of the man. And if the man wants to leave, it, it is a problem of the woman. Someone is that what could, you're saying? could be having their, 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 own, their, their, their own problems. Yeah. yeah and they are not working on their own problems. You could be having a good man, and you have your own issues, and you're not working on them. Okay? You could be having a good wife, you're, you have your issues, and your issues are affecting her. Okay? And she has to leave, unfortunately, for example. So, this a particular notion, and uh, I know it's there, many women have said it, mm -hmm. I have seen it, mm -hmm. That a woman will say, Watch her, um, le le let him sleep out, as watch her lale inje. As long as he comes back home, I am okay. Comes back to now. You are stooping so low. Where, where is he? What is he doing? You are nothing. You, you are like, uh, as long as uh, uh, he has not sent me parking, as long as I'm here, you are acting desperate. Keep your man, fight for your marriage, fight for him to be in the house, be a fighter, hmm. uh. woman. Fight for your man to be there. And if, if, if the, uh, your spouse wants a divorce, Qatar? If he wants a divorce, you cannot, you cannot keep them by force. Uh. If they want a divorce. You know, if she wants to go... Mm -hmm. Let them go. Let, let them go, because you cannot keep them you, 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 against their will. Now, I want us to uh, handle the past somebody has gone through something and uh, right now they're in a new relationship yeah but now they have not shared their ordeal with their current spouse mm -hmm. maybe they're married or, or or looking forward to, to to getting married but they have not shared their past experience with this particular spouse and uh, you know it is it is something that they went through in the past it may be rape mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It may be an emotional, uh, you know, a trauma. trauma of, yeah, yeah. It, they, they may have gone through something, you know, in their previous relationship. Yeah, yeah. Do you tell your spouse everything about you and your past as you move on to a new relationship? If the past uh, may affect your marriage, your, mm. your, 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 your marriage mm. or your current relationship, it is important. But if you think it won't affect, don't share. You can't share everything. Share what is uh, relevant, critical. Are you saying it's okay for spouses to keep secrets? No. No. no <laughs> because of the... For example, what, let me yes. give an example. Yes. Someone was raped. If they were raped, there is some kind of fear they may have on men, even when they are married. Mm -hmm. They may be a bit reluctant on matter sex, for example. Yes because of what they went through. Mm -hmm. And the man may be wondering, what, why, why? So to save him, uh, tell, uh, tell him what you went through so that he can help you to heal from that. Mm -hmm. That's important. Tell him you, you are raped. He will be so sympathetic and, and empathetic with you. And, and, and you know, there, there are people who have broken up because somebody tried to rape this particular lady. It has happened. That somebody broke up with the man because the man tried to rape her. Now she cannot be in that relationship because Rape in a she, relationship. Be, she says, yes, yeah. she says, I, I, I don't want to, 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 to be with you till marriage. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. But now he forces himself on her. Now she wants to leave. Yes, yes. That's okay. That's how, that. how does a lady move on from that? Uh, you need to forgive yourself. Hmm. You need to know, uh, you, first, 
the, the guy has revealed his true colors. He's a bully. He doesn't value you. Uh, he's after sex, and you don't. You, you are telling him, wait until we, we get married. So, and if he behaves forcefully on you, mm -hmm. then he may do worse things. Yeah. So forgive yourself. Do you tell your current husband that uh, I was in a previous relationship and I almost got raped? Do you yeah, tell him it, that? It's okay. It's okay. It, it, it is very much in order. Yeah. It's very much. Because they won't judge you. They will appreciate you for not giving him a chance to, to, to rape you. For running away. It shows that you are bold. You come out as bold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You may not reveal everything like you used to party. But you used to be a party, party girl. Mm -hmm. That's not very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not very important. Yeah. What's important is you are here, you are okay. So tell so if you have a baby, huh. let, let's wild kids. You know? Huh. You, you, you have a kid and she's staying with your with your parents and you don't disclose that to your it will bring problems. That will bring you problems. You he will leave you if you don't disclose. Such kind of information is important. So you should be free with your spouse. Be with your free. spouse huh? Be free. If someone loves you, mm. and they, they, they will be very, they, they will love you the more. Because they say you are open. You've revealed your skeletons yeah. to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. You've shown you, them who you are. You're not hiding you. it. You, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They show that you, mm. you are honest, and uh, you are someone who can, who can be trusted. Yeah, they, people, people like that. People like that. Yeah, you, you, you are honest. I'm looking at a particular scenario, uh, Bonachumo, and uh, I, I, I know very well that this is happening and it is a cause of worry in many relationships and particularly married men or mm -hmm. married women. Mm -hmm. S somebody says, uh, mm -hmm. I want to leave my husband or I want to leave my wife. Why? They do not satisfy me. How? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Financially, uh, sexually, sexually, yes, uh, they are not meeting your needs. Yes, needs, needs can be physical. Yes, you know, emotional, emotional, psychological, sec yeah, financial. Yeah, yeah. In in the actually, uh, the moment you get into marriage, mm. the man should understand this. Mm. I'm coming here, and uh, I have needs to be met. Mm. You must be conscious. Of meeting, it is no, long, no longer about you, but about the other person. Yes, I must be conscious about meeting. If it's a man meeting our needs, all of them. The woman must be conscious about meeting his needs, because it's no longer about her. Mm -hmm. It's about him making him. So tr try your best to satisfy them, whether it is financial satisfaction, yes. emotional, yes. physical, or sexual. Yes, and this sexual thing is a very sad thing. It is, it is. It now, is. what happens in the case whereby, and this is where I was heading to, that the reason why you broke up in the previous marriage, your previous relationship, is because your partner told you that you did not satisfy them when it comes to constitutional matters. Uh, of course. Now you, you're worried, you know, how do I move on to the next one? Will I deliver? Yeah. Th th that's a very big challenge to many Marriages. <laughs> there Very are cold wars uh. in the bedrooms. Cold wars. And uh, what, what, what both of them need is to agree. Mm. Don't be silent. There's nothing to be silent about. Tell, tell, tell them, this is what I want you to do. We, do you tell them, Do you know, I, I, asked, <laughs> I asked someone call, call me. Yeah. I had uh, a man call me. And tell me, I, the man really opened up seriously. Yeah, a man called you. Yeah, yeah, and she was like, "This one comes to sleep. Nangua, come on, enda kwa moon. She's going to the moon. She's oh, dressed I'm like a, an astronaut. Astronaut. I'm a, oh, I'm a, I'm a vase. Yes. To me, give. Kuna bari jacket. Isa isa zina na kila kitu. I'm a jifunika. Usi kwa shikiki. And the man was told, the guy told me, she told me once a week. She, he asked why. And I think it's because this man did not have money and he was not providing as he should. And the woman was like, 
it, it, she was using it as a weapon to punish to punish the guy. Oh. It is so sad. Uh -huh. Woman is punishing a, a guy because he, he doesn't have financial muscle. You know. Mm. Yeah. So she, she is using it as a weapon to fight the man. What do you, how, how do you move forward? Because can't that break up a marriage? It can. It can. Very easily. Because if as, 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 a, as a woman, mm. you're not satisfying your, 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 your man conjugally, mm. it, it, and you're not talking about it, it can bring issues. If you are a man and you're not satisfy, satisfying, satisfying her mm. uh, conjugally, mm. it will bring issues. What you need to do is talk about matters, intimacy, sexual intimacy. Talk about them. Have that conversation. It is a very important conversation to have. How do you want us to go about that thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be open. Talk. You are married. There's nothing you can hide from, from each other. Adam and Eve used to walk in the, in the Garden of Eden. They, they were naked. And they mm -hmm. didn't realize they were naked until they sinned. Mm -hmm. you know, there's nothing to hide. There's Ex nothing to hide. Express your express your. Tell fears. them this is what I want. This is what and, I want. Uh, this is what I don't want. Pakia. And uh, move forward. Yes. Yeah. This is how I uh, drive the car this way. Yeah. Chakula sabu na munai. That's this is what I want. Talk. Have this conversation. Don't don't be silent about it. it, it <laughs> Otherwise, mtachana. It is a very serious issue. It is a very serious issue. Actually, they say mm. what consummates marriage is sex you can be married on paper but until you 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 you, you have you meet you technically meet. yeah yeah you have not consummated that marriage it's a very serious thing i've had so many people call me on that issue it's a serious issue i was on, on another radio and the men were like uh when i anytime i need to go that route mm. i dictate the terms <laughs> she has no say. <laughs> she has no say. Imagine, a man saying that she has should, no say. Should that be the case? Is, we have so many stupid people around me. It's, <laughs> it's like the woman has no but, say over, over, over what the man does. It but, is very wrong. Bonachuma, I yeah. want to ask you this particular question here. Yes, sir. Um, now, for people who are getting into marriage and uh, they have uh, recently broken up, and uh, after a few months give or take, or weeks, depends on how it is, somebody proposes marriage to you, but you've just come from a previous relationship. How long do you give it until you accept that proposal? No, 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 no. These are rebounds. You should give yourself enough time to first heal. And while you are healing, be careful uh, who your support system is, because you have rebounds. Uh, try as much as you can to keep up from the opposite sex. They say is they give you a shoulder to lean on, but essentially mm. they, you, are, you are investing in each other emotionally. Oh, this guy is so good. He was there when I was hurting, you know, and you think it is time to pay back. Mm. You are making another mistake too soon. So avoid rebounds. A a avoid as much as possible. Avoid, uh, talk, uh, avoid men's shoulders until you heal. How long do you give yourself to heal? Uh, you've, you, you've heard people say that, ah, that person moved on so fast. So the question is, how fast is so fast? Make sure fast. Healing takes time, uh, Ram. I don't want to give a, 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 def, a, a definite uh, like, uh, time frame, mm. but uh, healing takes time. It depends on individuals. Individuals. Take time to heal fast from the past. Heal completely. And then once, uh, and make a conscious decision. Tell yourself, mm. I, I, I am ready. I have learned uh, from my mistakes. And okay. now I am consciously ready to get into a relationship. Nothing is pushing me. You are under no pressure. When you are under no pressure. You know, people think they marry because of sex. Sex is just a small aspect in marriage, although very critical. <laughs> Are you saying it's not a, it doesn't matter? Okay. <laughs> it, 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 it is an answer. So it does not matter. It does not matter at hey, all whether it, you have it or not. But you just said it, it does not I said, marriage. I said that those who marry because of sex. Uh huh. And they go there, they do it, it gets boring, and they are like, oh, come it can get boring, and they, and they exit. If uh -huh. that is your motivation, 
then you 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 will be surprised it it is it a can fraction get boring. it can, yeah it, if you don't work on it it will get boring <laughs> if you don't work on it it will yeah. get so uh, 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 how can a man come home and you are calling everybody come home after kipata umpate hapo slap her with a rose you know slap her yeah slap her with a rose or with, the with one million with one million <laughs> slap her with slap her with money say umenikasiria shika 1 million hata kama umenikasiria ah slap her with money <laughs> the, i have a special a very special person who is watching today i mean tumia message hapa hivi ameuliza swali hapa yes and i want to ask you because we initially you said that uh, partners need to share Yes they do. Now somebody is asking this. What about partners who use what you tell them against you? That is being insensitive. Love covers a multitude of sins. You know, love covers it. So if you love this person, you will help them to outgrow their their, their weakness. Someone mm. who is using your weakness to fight you mm. is 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 not your partner. And you know that's why people when they move to another relationship they won't share much because in the previous relationship well, when they will, shared, yes. it came back to haunt them so, so they won't share in the next relationship it, now if you think it won't affect your marriage uh, don't share it if it won't affect if it's not affecting you and it won't affect your marriage don't share don't share uh, Johnson I'm told time is not on our side oh. we have to finish <laughs> I have so many questions I wanted to ask you. Hey. To be continued, Ram. We, sh- we need to do this again. We need to. We need to. Can I give you, I, I just want to give you 30 seconds. Yes. To have a final word. Yeah. Adv- I'll advise every person watching you today yeah. about what they need to do after a breakup mm-hmm. before they move on to the next relationship. Yeah. Within 30 seconds, have a final word and that is your final. You need to heal. If you are, you are coming from a, a, a broken relationship, it is very important that you 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 learn your mistakes and make a make conscious efforts to heal and grow out of the pain of the past be self aware of what happened and seek to heal and until you have you have healed don't get into another relationship so uh go through the healing journey until you reach the end and then and then then you you can say now i have I have conquered my past and then I can I I I can I can I can take on the next challenge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have conquered the past. You have conquered the the the, the, the demons of the past and now now you can you can you, you 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 can move on to the next mountain and conquer the next mountain. Yeah. So uh be careful uh not to repeat the same mistakes in the uh next right. uh relationship. Wah. Bwana Johnson Chumwa. Oh yes. It's a pleasure my brother. Thank you sir. It's always a pleasure. Uh, uh, do, do you know this guy sings <laughs> by the way? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> the next time when you I'm come we'll draw a suit. I was drawing a suit. Oh, okay. <laughs> the next time you come we'll play your 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 music. Oh yeah. Okay. I, but that time the video will, will, be, will be ready. I have a song called I can do all things. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's it's coming on YouTube. Very soon. All right. Watch thank this you. space. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for coming. I, uh, that is Johnson Chumwa, a life coach, a mentor, motivational speaker, an artist, and a farmer. Oh yes, a farmer. <laughs> a farmer. <laughs> but, but but let's end that show, my brother. Yeah. Uh, but before we bring it to a close, I want to end with a quote. As always, you know how we do it. And uh, this, uh, you'll tell me whether you agree with this or not. Before healing, a wound. Before healing, a wound you must first of all admit that you are bleeding mm-hmm. before healing a wound you must first of all admit that you are bleeding you agree you have to accept accept the bleeding yeah, yeah you must accept and that's how you, how you can move on to the next relationship my name is ram maguko as always it's a pleasure being with you this is power talk see you again uh, next thursday right here on y254 keep engaging with us the hashtag is power talk show at ram maguko at y254 channel a big thanks to everyone who ensured this show was a success a repeat of this show again comes tonight at 10 p.m this is power talk
Imagine.